Thank you very much. Let's try to look at genetics kidogo. I may not go deep to genetics today because of the issue of time element. But I will start by discussing just the basic principles. Now, the basic principles here are one. Genetic again, eh? Whatever you get from a bull or from that dam is an element of many things. Don't bother yourself with this. Hii tu nimeandika ndio niweze kuwaelezea vizuri. Don't bother yourself hii. But nitawaelezea tu elewano vizuri, si ndio? Lakini kuna ile kitu tunaita genetic what? Gen. Genetic gen I'm sure is what each and every one here is interested in. Si ndio? Genetic gen in terms of milk, genetic gen either in terms of health, genetic gen in terms of productive of, 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 of longevity. So I'm sure when you are breeding and you want to say I want to select the best bull, it's because you want to achieve what? Genetic what? Genetic gen. Because as we said, genetics they are additive or cumulative and permanent. So you accumulate over time. You accumulate over time. So again, don't you think there will be a miracle bull that you make either can go back with ten liters. You put a miracle bull, and next in any when cut a calf, cut off fifty liters. That's a miracle. Here we don't work in miracles. We work with realities. Do not know. They are cumulative and additive. So if you don't have a plan. Will you be knowing when you are adding or subtracting? Hello there. So you need to have a plan so that you get to know whether you are adding, you are maintaining, but not what? Subtracting. Now, when we talk about genetic gain, we need to understand there is an element called heritability. Heritability is the ability of a bull to transmit the genes. Yaani, vile tuseme mimi vile niko mrefu. My ability to transmit those genes through my wife so that my daughters will be as tall as I am. Si mnanisikia vile anayejiri kueleza hata kwa Kimeru ndio tuelewano. Eh? Yeah. The ability to transmit those genes. Tunaelewano? That is what is called heritability. And the genes are not heritable in the same proportions. Wacha nirudi hapo sasa ndio tuelewano. Genes have got different heritabilities. Yani, to say for example, when you talk about something like milk, heritability of 0.2 or into bracket 20%. For example, now come to something like what we call not a pregnancy rate. Heritability is 0.04 or into bracket 4%. Now, if you see a trait with such high heritability of 20%, it tells you that, that that trait between one season and the next, between one generation and the next, you can gain a lot. But with an heritability of 0.04, which is 4%, it tells you that trait, you have to bring it for a long time for you to, to achieve it. So, the reason why I'm bringing this, eh, I found the farmers who are mixed up. Nataka ngombe anatoa maziwa, hakuwe na resistance ya mastitis, hakuwe ana pembe, hakuwe 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 you cannot. You ka? You can't. You have to move with two or three things at one time at most. Two or three. And that is why I'm saying if genetics are cumulative and additive you can say, yes, I will go with this bull because of milk. Because, first of all, you write what you want. What you want to change. I want to get milk. And maybe, for example, mastitis resistance. But if I'm lucky, let me also get a short stature. You see, this one, I'm put it as number three. So when I'm selecting, I'll put the list of bulls and rank them first of all against the, the two. The more you want these items, 
the rest booze you get. If I earn this list to here, you'll find none. You'll find what? None. So you have at one point. Usienda kama tractor ile ya kanjo. Si unajua ikirima barabara. Ikipata mikebe, ikipata nini zina okotanga yote ikienda. Sasa mambo ya branding sio hivyo. You have to be deliberate. Branding has to be deliberate and that is what we call branding by choice. It has to be deliberate. That for this cow A, I want to improve on milk. Like for me nowadays, I'm never concerned about milk. Not because I got the milk. But I know all those booze that we have will deliver what? Milk. So I know what else can it deliver more than milk. So I look for health. I look for things like longevity and the rest. So I'll put the two criterion and then from there, run booze and select from there. But the more you put, the rest booze you what? You get. At the same point, you cannot breed blindly. When I say breeding blindly, there are farmers, you get one bull, you have that cows, and you want to meet all of them to one bull for one year. My friends, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your, your time. Because you see, if this bull, for example, under an defect, which was not genetically expressed, it will express in your entire hand. Yeah? <laughs> It will express in the entire, in the entire hand. So our own generation, you can lose our own generation. That is what I say, walking in darkness. Unaweza fika na unaweza koza, ufika. I always encourage farmers to do what we call batch blending. And that is what I practice in my farm. In my farm, my clan, I know between January and end of this March, we were supposed to meet 16 cows. 16 cows, I select only the three bulls to use at a time. So those 16 cows, and I've matched the three bulls that I'm going to use. It means in total, watoto nitakuwa nimepata out of in group nitapandisha. Watakuwa metokana na ndumengapi? Tatu. That means, I've expanded the genetic what? Selection. Hello there. I can go up. I can maintain. But really, when I go down at the same time, because all of them have got different what? Valuables. What I say, what I'm saying here, eh? I'm saying here, 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 because I'm still giving you stories, you see, Janza Mamba and Blinding, these stories to Kuapa. <laughs> you know, when you say, let's say we have Bull A, Bull B, and Bull C. Let's say PTM, in Mamba and Maziwa. Let's say plus 13 and in, plus 12 and in, plus 11 and in, for example. Which are things like somatic cells, uh, 2.9, 2.6, 2.5. You know, I can put all these things here. Eh? Then I come here at the end. I look at the liability. 73, 71, maybe 70, for example. What it means, if I was to go with only one bull, if we check the row and the upper limit, if I brought this bull, for example, in milk, if he is at plus 1300 or 1500, for example, with a reliability of 71, it means there is, if this is, if this is the 1500, it means there is a 29% chance that it can be below. Do you know what I'm saying? Reliability is the measure of confidence you can put to an information. If I'm 79% reliable, what level of unreliability do I have? Sin 20? Sasa ndiyo nataka muerewe. We are being told, hii maziwa, 
plus 15 and it na reliability 73 kuna chance 27% that inaweza kuwa chini ama inaweza kuwa njoo tunaelewana that is why i'm spreading this curve here the 29% na irundisha huku na nipeleka wapi inaweza enda njoo na inaweza enda chini but you see when you are using two three mbuz at the same time it will mean kama hiyo ndio hiyo curve hii nyingine iko na curve kama hiyo na nyingine iko na curve kama hiyo when you come to balance this one will bring in and this one will bring in and then your curve will be shorter yani the level of unreliability sorry itakuwa mnanielewa na kama mali amnielewa mnaniuli tunaelewana kwanza because tukitoaelewana i'm saying when you are using only one bull you are standing with let's say kama reliability ni 73% you are standing with a 29% chance inaweza enda juu ama iende chini but when you bring two three bulls in the hand it means ile chance yake ya kwenda mbele na kurundi nyuma it's not the same chance ya hii kwenda mbele na kurundi nyuma it's not the same chance ya hii unanielewa so at the end of the day zote zitakuja kumbalance katikati that is why i encourage batch blending so that now and also batch blending is good even when you are selling your cows like now i know i'll be selling some ifas like uh, in three months time and the way i do it because kila moja iko na watatu wa ine nitaenda nikiuza moja 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 so at no point will i ever be without daughters i produced from a certain bull unanielewa what i mean because kama sasa niko na unique ine niko na tabasco tano niko na ngemchenja kumi so nitaenda niseme ngemchenja kama ni kumi nataka nibaki na tano nauza tano si bado niko na ngemchenja nikienda unique niko na unique ine nitauza mbili nibaki na mbili si niko na unique Nikia, so I am be retaining jeans from that line at no point can I sell all of them but if you produce all your ifas from one bull when it comes to sell see it means you have either to sell all of them or retain all of them or you will be having only one 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 line inch for the rest of your what i mean so batch blending to me is very important